When planning a set of promotional activities, marketers often talk about using integrated marketing communications or designing an integrated marketing campaign. Before we start, let us just list the learning goals for this video. The goal is to understand what integrated marketing communications or campaigns means, why we need to know about it, and how we could go about using it. We will do this through establishing a general understanding of the essence and actual purpose of integrated marketing campaigns and its connection to the marketing mix. Secondly, we will provide an overview of some additional available tools and theories we as marketers can use when designing an integrated marketing campaign. So let us begin. What is the purpose and essence of an integrated marketing campaign? And what is the connection to the rest of the marketing mix? When you are asked to design the marketing mix, you need to make decisions on four or seven core elements, also known as the four or the seven Ps. First of all, any issues concerning the product. This would include packaging and all other elements in connection with the product. Secondly, a decision on price. Thirdly, you will need to decide on the choice of place. Through which channels will you distribute the product or service? We also need to make a plan of which promotional activities we will carry out. And this is where we talk about using integrated marketing campaigns. If we're dealing with an offering that is better described as a service, or perhaps a product that includes large elements of service, we might also want to look at the additional three Ps the people that are involved in delivering the service, the process that our customers will go through in order to receive our service, and the physical evidence, any visible or tangible elements that the customer will see, hear, or in other ways experience when receiving the service. None of the four of the seven Ps should be decided on in isolation. However, promotion is the P which we will focus on in this video. So let us look at what an integrated marketing campaign is and why we as marketers need to know about it. We will use this cafe as an example. It is located in a large city close to a busy high street. It is called the French Cafe and it specializes in serving high quality cakes and desserts. Let us imagine that the French Cafe has asked us to help them design a campaign in order to increase sales. The owner suggests three promotional activities and he's keen to hear our thoughts. Firstly, he thinks that a TV commercial on national television would be great. Secondly, he wants to give discount vouchers to customers when they pay their bill. Thirdly, he would like to encourage customers to review their cakes online. As marketers, we know that before being able to give him any feedback or suggestions for an integrated marketing campaign, we would want to find out some more details. First of all, we would like to know his objectives with the campaign. What does he want to achieve? He stated he wanted an increase in sales, but by how much and during which time frame? And would he like existing customers to spend more? Does he want to attract a new target group? Or perhaps he wants to increase market share by stealing customers from the competition. If we don't clarify the French Café's objectives, we are unlikely to carry out an effective campaign. So let us say that the French Café is aiming for an increase in turnover by €100,000 over a six-month period and that they want to steal customers from the competition. Another core element in planning a successful integrated marketing campaign is knowledge about the chosen target group. We need to know who they are and what makes them tick. For this short video, let us just give a brief description of the French Café's chosen primary target group. They are 35 to 50 year old women who are out shopping with their girlfriends. They choose quality over price, they eat out often, and although they will never admit to it, it's important to them that they are seen in the right places. This information is also valuable to us in more detailed planning regarding choice of specific media, timings, and the creation of the actual messages. This will enable us to carry out an effective campaign. We are also keen on knowing the budget available to us. Let us say that the French Café has allocated 5,000 euros for this campaign. 
Knowledge about the rest of the marketing mix is also important. The French Café serves high-quality cakes and desserts created by educated confectioners. Prices are at the level of high-end restaurants. The café is run by the owner himself and it's located in a busy shopping area of the city. The service and process is of a high standard and the interior matches. This will also guide us in the design of the integrated marketing campaign. So there must be a clear connection between the chosen activities and the objectives, what we want to achieve, between the chosen activities and the target group, will we catch the target group in the right place with the right message, between the chosen activities and the budget, and finally, we must make sure that the chosen activities, our choice of media and content supports the rest of the marketing mix. Another and perhaps the most central aspect of the integrated approach is whether the different promotional activities are interconnected. Do they support each other? Maybe the different activities are aimed at different parts of the target group. Has timing been considered? Or maybe they engage with the target group in different ways, in different situations, at different times or in different places. Is there perhaps a combination of online and offline activities? Does the combination of activities create synergy? So let us look at the promotional activities suggested by the owner of the French Café. Do they integrate with the objectives, the target group, budget and the marketing mix? Do the promotional activities interconnect? Has timing or synergy been considered? We can probably agree that we should be able to come up with a more integrated campaign than this. So what might we suggest? One idea could be to encourage customers to review their French cafe experience, not just the cakes. Depending on some research on the target group's media habits, a suitable online platform such as TripAdvisor or similar could be used. We could prompt the customers to take part when visiting the cafe, by personal contact and by different types of print. We might also encourage them to post their review on selected social media platforms, again depending on some research of the target group's media habits. In this way, we would combine online and offline promotion. We would interact with the target group in various situations, various places, and at various times. This increases the likely success of an integrated marketing campaign. The allocated budget allows us to do more. So pause the video for a minute and consider what you might suggest in order to fulfill the objectives of this integrated marketing campaign. We have now established the purpose of an integrated marketing campaign, what it is and why we need to know about it. And we have established that there are many factors about interconnections which we need to look at to ensure our campaign benefits from the synergy of an integrated marketing communications approach. So let us move on. In addition to the factors we have just discussed, we as marketers have some additional tools and theories we can use to guide us when creating an integrated marketing campaign. These will not be described in detail in this video, but let us just introduce an overview of some of those tools and theories we might want to use. We could use the framework for designing integrated marketing campaigns to guide us through the process. We should get to know the different promotional tools available to us, such as advertising, sales promotions, and so on and we should study the advantages and disadvantages of each tool. We have many media channels at our disposal, such as the internet, mobile, outdoor, print, and many others. So we should also investigate them in more detail, including the pros and cons of each. We also need to be very clear on the differences between push and pull strategy, as well as profile positioning strategy. We should learn more about how to create a good message, we might need to involve an ad or a media agency, and therefore we would need to create a design brief, also known as a case or campaign brief. We have now established an understanding of the purpose of integrated marketing campaigns. 
the different factors that make a campaign integrated. And last, we have presented an overview of some additional tools and theories available to us when designing an integrated marketing campaign. To learn more about integrated marketing campaigns and how to use the different tools and theories introduced in this video, I recommend that you read Chapter 14 in David Jobber and Fiona Ellis Chatwick's Principle and Practice of Marketing Management, 7th edition. My name is Tina Wade. Thank you for watching.